Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Dasky here with another Crasher Cars gameplay. And in today's video, I've got something real special. Wait, hold up. As I was just saying, I've got something real special to show you all today. I've been playing this game for ages now, grinding my way to get over 100 crowns in one game. And in this video, I get one of my highest scores yet. And I'll explain some quick tips that you can use to improve your score. I just want to let you know quickly that for most of this gameplay, I only had one small bar of health left. So I played a very conservative game. Now when you're going for a high score, there's three things that you really need to do. Firstly, you need to use a strategy that suits your car. In this gameplay, I'm using the speed, and I know that no one will be able to catch me. So I use this speed to my advantage and try to beat my opponents to the crowns in the middle and on the edges of the map. For example, if you're using the tank, you might have a strategy to stay in the middle of the map and just get into massive battles with everyone because you won't take as much damage and you can steal their crowns once you've destroyed their car. And this brings me to my second point. You really want to pick and choose your battles. In this gameplay, I couldn't really choose a lot of the battles because my health was so low and I know I would die if I tried to kill someone. However, when I got the shield, I knew I was safe so I went into the middle of the map and tried to destroy as many cars that I could and that way I could pick up their crowns and then leave. However, if I ever saw someone on a lot of crowns and low health, I would attack them because I know I could beat them and get their crowns. Now thirdly, something I don't believe I did too well in this video is you want to use all your weapons to your advantage. I think if I did this, I could have gotten more than 100 crowns. Now this point I think is pretty straightforward. For example, if you get a freeze cannon, what I would do is I would shoot it in the direction I'd want to travel, so that way I can use it as a shield because I know no one will want to try and attack me if they see a big snowball coming towards them. I also do this strategy for the spikes, and it allows me to pick up another item and hope that it's something really powerful. I'll leave you here to enjoy the gameplay, and if you like it, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. Also, in the comments section, let me know if you enjoy the high scoring gameplays, or would you rather me upload more action packed gameplays. Also, drop a smiley face at the end of the comments so that I know that you listen to all my commentary.